let's hit this lever. Raise this up. You raise me up! Sorry. <laughs> Why did I just bust out into a Josh Groban song? Oh boy, guys. Come on, Mal. Chapter 7, Part 1? What does that mean? Into the shadow web caverns. At that same moment in Northrend, King Arthas and Anubrak march into the dark forgotten halls of Ajal Narub. Hey there, guys. We know here. Welcome back to Let's Play Warcraft 3. I did that in the complete wrong order, so let's go. We've been walking for hours. We've got to quicken our pace. The Lich King is defenseless without us. I left many of my warriors at Ice Crown before I came to find you, Death Knight. They will hold the line for as long as they are able. Tell me, where are all of your people? Shouldn't there be Nerubians around here, undead or otherwise? I've been wondering about that myself. Something must have driven them all off. We did, you rotting bastards. We've been watching you all along. Muradin's dwarves. Impossible. Doesn't anyone stay dead anymore? We've been wandering this forsaken land ever since you killed Muradin and left us to rot, Arthas. Our leader, Balgun, led us into the ruined city to survive. But there's no way we're letting you in. We have no time for these games. Saphiron, attack! Well done, mighty Saphiron. I wish we could take you with us, but the confines of the Dark Earth are no place for you. The Lich King's time is running short. We must hurry. Oh boy. Hey, look forward to the fact that we don't have a base destroying uh, mission right now. This is a, uh, a dungeon mission. Look at the entrance to the Old Kingdom. Kill Bell Gun. Bring the bloody key to the Old Kingdom. Lock Arthas and Anubarak. Must survive. For cars, madame. You bloody bastards. So what you gotta do is you gotta bring your shitty meat wagon over here and just fuck him up. Just like that. A pint for every ghoul you blast. Of course Arthas is like what level five now? And we can't increase that at all. So it's kind of awful at the moment. Needs as much help as he can get. <clears throat> so let's continue. Do do. Set off the charges. Wall the bridge before they get across. No. Stop them before they. That was for Muradin. Now you'll never get across. There are other passages through the labyrinth, Death Knight. We will find another way. So you might be wondering why is this a two-part mission? We haven't seen that ever before. And you'd be absolutely right, we haven't seen that. Look at this fucking siege engine bullshit. So OP. I hate siege engines for this exact reason. They're just... Ugh. Most overpowered thing humans could ever build. Use carrion or death pact on carrion beetles. A ring of regeneration, that would be quite nice. If I could find out how to get to it. Gold. We should take this with us. Ice trolls. Why do we need gold? Sorry if I sound a little ignorant there, but why do we need gold? Oh boy, uh, it is full. Wow. Okay. Um. Scroll of protection, I guess. Might as well get it out of the way. Dude, you're summoning a lot of carrion beetles. I'm getting worried about this. Of course, I have no idea where these gold stashes are. 
rune of healing. Though. That's that helps with that ghoul that we have that's damaged. How many carrying beetles can he have? Five. Okay, so we're at maximum now. Anubarak's gonna be our main hero, kind of, because Arthas is, you know, dying slowly. So he's gonna lead us forward. One of these wonderful carrying beetles that we have. That we're definitely gonna be sure to level up. They don't. They aren't so good at base destroying missions, but in these dungeon missions are great. Just like units that you can constantly get for uh, just killing things. I want to pop all these egg sacks because you never know if you can find treasures in them, things like that. These Nerubians are your kin. Why are they hostile to us? Good point. Many of us who fell during the War of the Spider were brought back to serve the Lich King. These warriors, however, never died. Foolishly, they still fight to liberate Nauru from the Scourge. So they're kind of, uh, like... Uh... They're, pe they're spiders that never died originally when the Lich King came here and took all this shit over. All since the Northern kind of became... This might help us later. With what? And, <laughs> um, kind of made Northrend kind of the land of the undead. So they're kind of just leftover spiders that are like, uh, what the fuck happened? Did we win the war yet? You know, they're like, they're spiders with Gulf War Syndrome or something, I don't know. Just don't, don't bother with them. I highly doubt that's an actual rat. I feel, I smell a polymorph coming on. That's trickery. Okay, it was just a rat. This place looks like an old storage silo. It's a dead end, Nubarak. There must be a hidden passage somewhere. We Nerubians were crafty engineers in our time. Really? Tove of Intelligence goes to Arthas because Nubarak has no need for intelligence. Arthas, however, has a heal, so that rules that out. Crafty. That door's kind of obvious. This is an ancient Nerubian hoarding cell. We kept most of our treasures hidden in chambers like this. The passage to the lower depths lies just beyond this room. Great. As long as we're here, we can take some of these items with us. Exactly. So why would we not want them? Of course, the thing is here, you got all these switches around the room. And you got the switch that has that thing in front of it. I think what you're trying to do is you're trying to figure out which one is the right switch that activates um, Take all you can carry. either the door or the st this ramp thing. But I think no matter what you choose, enemies come out. So it's kind of just a uh, what kind of enemies you want to fight kind of deal. I don't know why I'm destroying these rock chunks. I think they get destroyed by things that come in anyway. So let's just try them out. Spike trap has been deactivated. That's good. So let's go over here. This one opens up that, but of course lets in these Nerubians. So it's kind of a lose-lose, I guess. Alright, carrying beetles, stop showing off. We did, however, get this big old chest up here. I'm curious to see what's inside. It's what happens when two holidays collide. Props to you if you know where that's from. And no, don't say Nightmare Before Christmas just because you want to. Uh, I'm going to give the Orb of Frost to Anubarak for now. Uh, why do you have the Pendant of Energy? Ooh. <laughs> Boots of movement speed, we don't need. That's just a quality of life thing. Give the Pendant of Mana to Arthas and grab the Orb of Frost from him. Don't even try it, you bastard! That their treasure belongs to the dwarves! Says who? This treasure belongs to the Lich King, little creature. We, his servants, shall take what we will. Ah. 
God, carrying beetles are such a cool mechanic, aren't they? <laughs> I say that like such a nerd, but seriously. It's so awesome that you can, uh, that as they, you know, are fighting, they die and you just resurrect more. I think this spiked collar is a summoning thing. Yeah, summons a fell stalker to fight for you. So we're gonna have that. So now we got a fell stalker with us, which of course is only good at really draining things of their mana, but to each his own, really. This is for Meriden, you bastards! Just set that off, so that's gonna blow up that whole room in one big chain reaction, kinda. Is he killing my fell stalker? No. He's killing something though. Destroy these. It's it's weird because it's like the AI focuses on your carrying beetles. Oh, hold on, turn on my light. I just realized how dark it was in here. It's weird. You think the AI would know not to do that, or like not to bother with it or something? Woo! It's funny how they aren't immune to explosions, but we are. That's kind of kind of unfair. Oh, don't even start with my ass. It's them. Bust them. Look, he's demolishing the carrying beetles. Good thing I can get more here. Oh, well, I just blew one of them up, so never mind. I need a corpse if I need a carrying beetle to make a carrying beetle. Let's hit this lever. Raise this up. You raise me up! Sorry. <laughs> Why did I just bust out into a Josh Groban song? I don't even like Josh Groban. Literally worse than Krampus. So here's that bridge that we saw get destroyed, so don't worry about that. Or I could slay you all. <laughs> okay. That was fun. Let's destroy this barrel, see what kind of treasures they were hiding. Secrets? No. Looks like there should be secrets over there. Oh, no. Shoot anything that shuffles or scatters! This looks like secrets, man. Don't even. Hold on. Fellstalker. Explore. Explore for me, my child. Scroll the beast, don't need it. Never mind. It wasn't treasure. It was just a load of baloney. I thank you, dwarves, for getting rid of these Nerbians. Granted, I'll have to kill you now. Alright. Uh, Fountains of Restoration. You don't see much of those. It does health and mana. Continue forward. Carrying beetles in front. That's always good. Always a good idea. Just blow that guy up. I remember you, evil prince. You're the one that killed poor Muradin. Get over it already. I won't let you through this door, traitor. The recent quakes have awakened dark things under the ice. Ancient, horrid things. We vowed to keep them locked where they are. We'll take our chances, dwarf. We're going through that door one way or another. I always remember this fight being difficult for some weird reason. I don't remember why, though. I guess you could say because he's level 10 and you obviously are not, and that makes a huge difference. Of course, now he's immune to fucking like everything in the world. So I think this is exactly why I said it was difficult, or I remember it being difficult. 
Hey, new brick leveled up. Get that next level of carrying beetle. <laughs> There's that blood key. Oh, does this mean I have to give up something for it? Because if so, that is some bullshit. I'll get rid of the pendant of energy, if anything. Alright. There we go. Arthas, grab it. Quick. <laughs> the air smells awful in here. Something doesn't feel right. If the dwarf's story was true, there's no telling what awaits us in the darkness. This stairwell leads into the heart of the old Nerubian Empire. We must be cautious. By all means, you first. So we didn't find all the gold stashes and we didn't uh, get the... Uh or we, yeah, pretty much. We didn't find any of the gold stashes, but that's a pretty short mission, as you might have noticed. So here is part two of it, which is, uh, I think, a lot longer, but I don't know. I'll keep it all as one episode. So chapter seven, part two, the Forgotten Ones, moments later within the Inner Kingdom. We have entered the Old Kingdom. Be wary, Death Knight. Whatever scared the dwarves still lurks down here somewhere. Oh, I wonder what it could be. Uh, let's get our carrying beetles. Let's go. Locate the exit Wait. of the old kingdom. The towers on either side are rigged to fire bolts of frost. This hallway is a death trap. It's a Can booby trap. Them? The circular hatch in the far wall is an aqueduct plug. If we can open it, the water might flood the firing mechanisms and disable the entire trap. Just like that. Pfft. Man, I was hoping that there wouldn't be enemies up here. Gold. We gold. With us. I don't know why they're saying take gold with you. Just, unless they're talking about the mission like three missions from now, and the gold carries over to that, but I don't think so. That would be weird. Ooh, there's that orb of frost on the Nubarak acting up. He's getting in that good money. Don't. The son of a bitch. It's two carrying beetles that I got now. That's done it. Let's move. All right, we're now free to go. It's a pretty interesting mechanic there. You know. Finding ways to get rid of the uh, towers and whatnot. That's like kind of a pointless mechanic. I think they give it away too much. I should have let you just try to figure it out on your own. Cause it's not like you're not gonna explore or something. I don't know. Look, brothers, the traitor king. Who? Me? <laughs> referring to me, Death Knight. These Nerubians will stop it. Don't nothing to destroy us. Let's say, where's all my carrion beetles, man? No, I don't have many corpses to use, but eat all five. Okay, I was just—I <laughs> had to make sure there for a second that I can still only have five. I didn't know if that changed or not. Thank you, Great One. The rebel spiders captured my comrades as well. They're being held in a nearby chamber. Release them, and they will be yours to command. The Crypt Fiends. Find and release the Crypt Fiends. Of course we can do this. Oh! Okay. I didn't know if there was going to be a ramp there. I was like, oh no. I didn't want half my army to get cut off. Spider crabs. Is 
that what they're using as an explanation for the way these <laughs> why they have crabs in here? <laughs> they don't look like spider crabs. Trust me, I know spider crabs. Oh, I guess I lost a crypt fiend during that. Oh, and a ring of protection three. Oh, that's great. Uh, well, that would be great if I had room for it, you know? Oh, I guess I can... Hold up, hold up, hold up! <laughs> Moving too fast, guys. You guys start running into the next room. You don't give me any space. Exchange it out. It's good enough for me. Belt of giant strength. You just had to throw that in my face, didn't you? That's definitely booby-trapped. But I think if we're smart, we can destroy these rolling stone doors and fight the units ourselves. Oh wait, no, that's just the way to go. What's back here then? I see he found the bell, but... Oh, I guess the caves is where the enemies come from. Never mind. Okay. That's the bonus objective that we just found. Where it was like, oh, you got to find the crypt fiends. That's what they're talking about. Let's heal up a little bit here. A little bit of healing never hurt. And Anubarak, since, well, actually both of you guys' primary tribute is strength, isn't it? Uh, Arthas, you will take it then. Mm. I'll drop that. He can give a Claws of Attack 3 to him. There we go. Guardians are activating. Defend yourselves. Don't even think about it. Don't kill that ghoul. So help me God. Carrying beetle, I don't care about. Ghoul's a big fat no-no. Okay, so we got another ruined bracers, but I don't know if I want that. It's, I don't know. It's weird. Arthas has all this mana regen shit. Mm, ugh, Jesus Christ, my throat, man. It's Now I'm hiccuping. Why am I doing that? Alright, Nubrak will exchange it for some physical defense. Take the magic defense. I think that's a good, good uh, trade there. Why did this door lock again? I only have enough space for one of you crypt fiends. So, if, you know, one of you Stay dies in here. And don't worry about it. That damn ghoul died, didn't he? Ghoul Dan died, didn't he? <laughs> okay, so we got a ton of them. I can take one of you guys. You guys can follow Nubarak. We'll use that wonderful follow mechanic. And as usual, let's heal up a little bit. Uh, guys? So do we need to go through one at a time or something? What's going on here? I guess so, single file. Oh lord. Oh lord have mercy. Egg sacks, my favorite. I wonder what that gold is used for. It's so odd. Like, ugh. It's just it's weird. Death to the servants of Nersu. We got a hero over here. A spider hero, so we're gonna have to deal with his ass. Incubated within those breeding pots. There's no telling how many vicious hatchlings they hold. You are right. They're definitely hostile. 
We've got to destroy the breeding pods. We could also seal the doors to shut the hatchlings in. That would be a smart thing to do, wouldn't it? So let's hit all the switches. There can only be a certain number of them alive in the room at once is what they're getting at, kinda. So if you destroy the doors, switches, then you only have to worry about what's in the room currently. And it uh, can help out. Okay, and we're back. Medallion of Courage, don't need that. Don't want to destroy that either. The doors to the breeding pods. That would not be okay. Alright. Let's do it all again. Drive the foul undead back to the surface. You know, originally I thought all Nerubians were undead, but lore-wise, I guess that's not the case. Oh, ruin of healing. And Nubarak's leveling up like a madman. So we can get his ultimate now, which is Locust Swarm. Creates a swarm of angry locusts that bite and tear it away at enemy units as they chew to enemy flesh. They convert it to a substance that restores hit points to the Crypt Lord when they return. So it's a big dot that he puts on uh, enemy units, and then when the dot is over, he gets a massive health boost. So pretty good. We'll uh, we'll demonstrate the effects of that pretty soon here. What are these? What the hell are they? They are the horrors the dwarf. Okay. Sorry there guys. A little bit of an interruption. What? What? They are the faceless ones. Perfect timing. So here we have the faceless ones, which is our our kind of introduction to um old gods. Which is a whole section of Warcraft lore that you don't even want to get into right now. I hate how I have to keep resetting this thing. Alright, faceless ones, bring it. And there's our rescue the Crypt Fiends quest. Um, hold on, let's separate our guys real quick. So these are the three new ones that we got. Wonderful HP on them. I guess I can use Arthas to heal them up a little bit. Uh, since Arthas, 75 mana isn't so bad and he gets that back in just a few seconds. So I'll just throw a few heals on these guys and then we'll go into the next segment. And I will death pack. Oh, I was gonna death pack this guy so I can just have a new rack resurrect a new one. But okay. All right, boys. Let us face the final frontier. Oh boy.
to your defenses, Death Knights. Fight as you've never fought before. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the Forgotten One. A fun little boss that will kick our ass. As you can see, he casts uh, fucking bullshit as his main attack. He casts a uh, fucking flame strike that Kalefoss has, but he casts a really stupid version of it, in my opinion. And we beat him. <laughs> he's he's not that bad. We cannot take them all. Hurry, Death Knight, up the stairwell. Hurry. Ladies and gentlemen, 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 we continue onward to chapter 7, part 3. Like, why didn't they just do three missions? Like, seriously? Ascent to the Upper Kingdom. Moments later, at the entrance to the Upper Kingdom. We're running out of time, Anubarak. How far are we from the exit? Not far. We have entered the Upper Kingdom. The exit should lead us to the base of the glacier itself. However, there are still hidden traps and pitfalls to account for. Take cover! Arthas! The entire passage collapsed. There's no time to dig through this. I'll have to move quickly and find my own way out. Hopefully Anubarak and the others survived. Hopefully. That's all we can hope for. So, welcome to a mission where you play a large part solo as Arthas as a level 3 death knight because he sucks ass. I'll be singed if I get too close to those flames. And of course we still have coins. I'll need this gold for when I reach the glacier. But as you might have noticed we also have a timer for this mission so you got to go fast. Sanic speed Gaben feed. More than Arubian's blasted mechanisms. I'll have to time this. Uh best way to time this is things turn off and when they do they leave those little blue flames behind. And that's how you know when it's your opportunity to go. Fun times. Oh, can't hide from me. Oh shit. I should have given Arthas all the some of the Nubrak stuff. Oh my this might help goodness us. gracious. Claws of Attack 15. I'll take those. Fountain of Health. Fountains of Wayne. We don't need it. They had like one good song anyway. Get this like stupid ass monologue by Arthur. Who cares? Just go. A fleshling and a dark finder. Dude puts on a mana shield like he's like he's a, got a big dick or something. These blizzards are not so bad. They just kind of travel up and down these pathways, destroy these shield wall generators, and they will, mo for the most part, stop. And that just lets you in the next segment. It's a big gauntlet, in case you haven't noticed. Whoa, -ho -ho. getting a little closer, blizzards. Actually, I'm going to run through all you guys. I'm just going to go up here and destroy this. Ruin of mana. That's going to help. I know I'm taking a lot of damage here. Bear with me. Alright, let's go. What is that? Hood of Cunning. Son of a bitch.
Man, I hate these faceless ones, man. They're so annoying. Half the time, they almost kill me. That lowered that, or that did something. <laughs> I need more units. I can't do that by myself. I don't know where to get another guy, but I don't really need a hood cunning. I must cunning. find a way across this strange obstacle. Um, I need this thing to rise. Not in that way. Come on, we're on a timer here. Damn it. Damn it to hell. I'm looking for... Oh, you gotta do that to me. Okay, then I'm going here. Oh, okay. No! Go! Go, you piece of... Oh, okay, I didn't know that was three high. It's weird, these levels that they do. Come on. Send me an angel. Right now. Dude, there's my chance. And I'm not going to be able to take it. It's not moving either, which is really weird. I should have taken that replenishment poster, but I didn't. Anubarak, you made it. I see now why the Lich King chose you as his champion, Death Knight. Few men could have survived this labyrinth alone. And his line dancing row of crypt fiends. All right, back to Nubarak. Another earthquake. We must hurry, Death Knight. Yeah, because Lord knows what could be waiting Someone's ahead. Breaking through. Defensive positions. Five minutes. Um, Nubarak, do you want to raise some beetles? I mean, you can, bro. We'll wait. No, we won't. We're on a timer. Just kill whatever is here in a short amount of time possible. Arthas, why are you soloing the guy over there? It's not a good idea. Who We're running out of time. We must find the exit. Oh, but supplies, man. I can't pass that up. Spell magic, they knew you were going to need that. That's all the gold coins for this part. They're blocking the way to the exit. We'll have to fight our way through them to reach it. That's a waste of a sleep, my friend. That's not. Orb of Darkness. Good God. So many good things. Stop. Don't do this to me. Oops. Arthas, what can you give up? Pendant of Energy. Go. Get that Orb of Darkness. You need it. Ugh, the Crown of Kings. Ring of Protection. Get rid of it. Crown of Kings is a lot better. Just go. We made it. And we got the good items, too. We had plenty of time left, too. Now, quickly, head through that door. The exit to the surface lies just beyond. It'll be good to see the sun again. Remember, Illidan and the true battle still await us in the world above. Hopefully our trek through the Dark Earth bought us the precious time we needed. Hopefully. Guys, finally we have reached the end of this episode of Let's Play Warcraft 3. Three like short missions in a row, all separated. I think they could have just kept it as one mission, like one really long mission. That would have been interesting, I don't know. Anyway, 
See you guys next time. This has been your host, as per usual, we and you on this channel. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.